for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, bankroll, euro, peso Add it up, I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, bankroll, euro, peso Add it up, I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? To start, this is not a sponsored video, but I have to give a shout out to Motion VFX. They were kind enough to send over this music video plugin. I definitely appreciate it. So shout out to them. And in this video, I'm just going to break down a little bit of what's in the plugin. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but there's a link in the description down below. Of course, if you want to know more. Once you got the plugin installed, you go into effects and go into toolbox. You can click on the search bar here and type in MU and they actually bring up all the effects right there drop down here to get a full list and they're all broken up in different categories at the bottom you have the transitions in the middle you have the typography this is where you find your different titles i use this one doing the intro drag and drop it on top of your footage this one here has a custom animation for a logo you can actually change that if you want to though go into the inspector tab under elements logos and controls hit the drop down you scroll to the bottom and have a file name hit browse i'm gonna actually pick the motion vfx logo itself open and then select custom logo it will then change it to whatever logo you selected up top you have controls you can change the positioning and scale kind of similar to my fake camera motion preset i released these are actually preset camera angles and you go here and just a camera zoom take it and drop it on your footage and then go into effects on the controls camera controls you can change the zoom amount you scale in you can change the animation curve from linear to easing or you can actually use your own custom curve this one in particular stands out as a vhs camera motion and you see it actually changes up the footage even more of a vhs look to it under camera controls you have a list of controls you can change the perturb which causes a little bit of a shake you get x and y axis and you can change into the same so it kind of moves back and forward you can have the zoom Got perturb speed wobble and so on and so forth of course to remove effect you just go up to the top here and hit the little trash can and removes the effect if you find yourself coming to a problem getting the video effects to render you want to right click go into the menu and where it says render cast fusion effects click on the name of the effect that will go ahead and cause the effect to go ahead and start caching and render out under your effects you have film burn you can track and drop and the face of course you can change the burn amount the hue saturation and opacity along with other controls one of the effects i use in the actual demo is a drop frames and just basically simulates a drop frame effect and you can actually increase the frames or decrease the frames according to your liking video flare this is a little flare here on the side going to effects you got the flare controls you can actually change the position and scale you usually want to use this for something like headlights or maybe like the ray of the sun you also had a drop down where you can change the, the look of the flare depending on the situation. I use this effect in the demo, the low shutter effect. The letterbox effect is pretty cool. You go into effects, you actually have an animation in and animation out. But I hadn't got the animation in to work, but on the out, it will actually open up the letterbox animating out. You also have six transitions here at the bottom. You just drag and drop this one on. This one here is the distortion effect. You go in the inspector tab under transitions and you have controls of this effect. You can change it to your liking. This one creates like a quick little texture glitch. Kind of gives like this kind of old TV haze. In the color page on the motion VFX, you have music video. You can actually get 10 LUTs you can use. In my opinion, this plugin is definitely worth the money. It's a great time saver, especially if someone trying to get into music video editing. Time is money. This will save you a great deal of time. Overall, increasing the quality of your video edits. And make sure to follow the links in the description. Check out this video for more music video effects, and I'll holler at y'all next time.